頑張る、頑張ります。Perhaps one of the most known Japanese words is the term for perseverance. Used in verb form, these words are present in daily conversation and they are one of the most common expressions you hear on Japanese TV and film. The Japanese, after all, are known for working hard. In fact, the idea of working hard or giving it your all is so intricately woven in Japanese culture that you'll find that much of the country's popular media revolve around the theme. Young people are indoctrinated with the shonen manga and anime, which mostly consist of protagonists who are constantly overcoming their limits. If you look at it, the basic formula for a shonen manga is an ordinary boy who is forced to become a hero because of circumstance, trains hard to defeat an enemy, and in the actual battle, almost loses but that somehow gets past just a little over their breaking point. When we look at idols and Tarento, we also see the same thing. Idols appeal to the masses not because of their awe inspiring talent, but because they work hard despite limited or sometimes even the lack of actual skills. I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. Perhaps the most representative example is the annual Niji Ojikan Terebi, where the audience watches a talent do a running course for charity in a highly produced, ritualized display of perseverance and endurance. The challenge seems insurmountable, but you see the entertainer make it to the finish line, and thus, a spectacle is born, inspiration is commodified, and once again, Gambaru and Gaman are reinforced as sought after traits. Needless to say, perseverance is a highly praised value, and it leads to different eras of society. But I'd also like to point out that both its rightness and romanticization has led to poor copies in real life. For example, the concept of work smart instead of hard is close to non existent in this country. In many Japanese companies, putting in hours is still seen as proof of working hard, even when it doesn't garner any results. Once, I've even heard a person say, You young people complain about every single thing. When I was your age, I worked 365 days a year, and that was normal. Right. I mean, I didn't say anything back because the person was a lot older than me, but in my head I was thinking, sure, that's a lot of work, but how was the quality? The problem with this kind of thinking is that being busy or overworking yourself becomes the goal. As long as you're putting in the hours, your effort is admirable, regardless of actual result. The romanticization of pushing through your limits has dire consequences. If you always work past your capacity, then chances are your shelf life as a worker also decreases. You either get burned out in a short period of time or you overwork yourself to death, which is sadly not such a rare phenomenon in this country, unfortunately. For me, Being aware of what your limits are is a sign that you're a true professional. It means you can make realistic timelines and pace yourself accordingly. If you think about it, your whole career is a marathon. There's really no need to dash in the first 100 meters if we're just gonna fall and drop dead before the finish line, right? My point is, there is a need for Japanese society to re examine closely what hard work really is and not just rely on. The number of hours you put in, or how close to the brink of death you look. If we redefine the parameters of hard work to fit realistic measures, if we stop romanticizing the idea of giving it your all until your body breaks, maybe we'll have fewer people dying from overwork. Maybe we can have a lower suicide rate. Maybe we can have family members present at the dinner table and on family occasions. And maybe marriage and childbirth would appeal to more women because life work balance is not some faraway ideal, but a tangible reality. But where do we start? To be honest, I'm not really sure myself, but putting this video out there and attempting to disseminate the idea of working smart instead of hard, that's one way to go about it. And then, of course, there's practicing it. Maybe if enough of us do this and make it high enough on the ladder to influence change, The next generation might enjoy the fruits of our labor. This is Michelle of Tokyo Pass 3. Don't forget to take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, it's Michelle. Thanks for watching the video. I just wanted to tell you one more thing before you leave. If you've watched my Instagram stories a few days back, you'd know that I've been shooting for NHK School Japan, and that episode, which is about musical instruments, will air on November 8th on NHK BS1 from 6 p.m. It usually airs on NHK World as well, but the schedule there is 
unpredictable. I think I just don't know the schedule. Okay, I'm not really good at keeping up with the schedule of the show. But anyway, please watch it, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.